where are we headed to, driver? No man's land. <laughs> oh, okay, they're going then. <laughs> we got a damn good show for you tonight. What do you say, Jane? Yeah, we got a damn good show. Let's get her done. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm here digging away in a more modern patch, folks. Looking for marbles, really. Uh, this guy here just come out. Baseball player. Real thin, might be Cracker Jacks, or he might have been on the top of a, a buried treasure ice cream stick, I'm not sure. Neat little piece though. Okay, I got another find right here in the hole, folks. I just noticed it. It's a coin. That's gonna be a penny, I would say. Maybe a young Elizabeth. 1963. That's the date on that one. See if I can get zoomed in there. There you go. Nope, 1962. 1962 penny. Pennies are out of circulation up here in Canada now, so it's a nice little find. So here, just come out, folks. I say that is a Monopoly game piece. One of the hotels. Yeah. All right. Let's see what else we can get out of this spot here. I don't normally dig this little dump here because uh, the stuff's a little more modern than I'd like, but once or twice a year I come up and just sort of check it out. Let's keep going. Okay, I think I got one of these plastic cars down here. Check it out. Yep. These, I believe, are from the 50s. And, uh, yeah, as I suspected, they got the name of the vehicle on the back of it here, on the trunk. And that one looks like it says Plymouth. I'll get it cleaned up. I got quite a collection of these now. At home, that is. So I'll take this one too. And uh, what else come out? Oh, yeah. One of these blocks. I dug one of these up not too long ago at a different site. And these are from the 50s as well. So there could be some 50s toys in here. Let's hope we start pulling out some marbles. First one. It's a cat eye. Yellow, blue, and white. I knew there'd be marbles in here. That's what I came for. Let's see if any more come out. All right, folks. <laughs> well, I've got a Monopoly house to go with the hotel. All right. And this here come up as well. If that was whole, I'd definitely take that. All right, so there might be some decent pieces in here. Do a quick scratch here. Oh, I got you. Yeah. I'm just scratching real lightly. Seems to be some weird stuff in here. That's a little yellow thing there. I don't know what that is. That's just a, something out of a liner out of a soda lid. Yeah, I don't see anything else right there, right away. Here's another weird piece that just come out. What the heck is that? It's like a priest or scribe or something. I think he's holding a scroll. What the heck? 
Cracker Jack, maybe? Neat piece. I get a little picture of that. I'm going to put that in my pocket, then I'm going to keep digging right here. Oh, there's another weird little, there's all kinds of weird little plastic pieces coming out here. Odd stuff. But oh, there's one of those tokens, would have had an airplane on it. I think. Yeah, that's a jello one. That's not an airplane one though, I got an airplane one over here I found. As well, see? Two different ones. Very cool. Let's keep going. Crashing real light here. There's an old uh, button. There's something. See that? Little plastic charm. That's yeah, all there, too. Might be, uh, I think it's the Canadian hockey team. A little uh, charm. Montreal Canadiens. I got something here, folks. Oh, it's broke. Look at that. Uranium glass. I'm going to take it anyways. People love uranium glass. I got people asking me for it. I'll shut you off and get in there deep. <laughs> Check it out, folks. Looks like the head to Yogi Bear or maybe Deputy Dog. Very cool. I'll keep that little piece. Well, it's looking like I got another marble here, folks. Green one down in here. Nice. That is just a four vein cat eye, but. What a nice green color. That camera's not doing it justice. My jumpings, I don't know if that looks like it'd glow, but probably not. We'll check it out under the black light anyway. Let's keep digging around here. Good spot for toys. So I think I just scratched out another marble. I almost didn't even see it. A scallop shell. You see it down there? It's a dark one. That isn't even transparent. Can't see through that. Is that a marble or is that a bead? Too muddy. Let me shut you off. I'll get you right back up on. Okay, so there it is, folks. It is a glass marble and it is blacker than the Ace of Spades. It is opaque. No light shining through that puppy. Weird marble. Nice one, though. <laughs> These are not marbles, folks, so don't be collecting those. <laughs> this is a marble, though. Check it out. Oh, it's a multicolored green cat eye. Oh, there we go. What a beauty. Wow, look at that. That's going to look nice cleaned up. Beautiful colors. Six veiner, maybe? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six vein. Nice marble. Anything else right there? Well, I got, yep. All kinds of weird little plastic things in here. But... Toys. Toys galore. All right. Light bulb fooled me. Thought it was a marble. <laughs> I get fooled by them all the time. All right, I think I got another one down here. Next time I come here, I'm not wearing my hoodie. Every time I bend over, the hood falls over my head. I can't see. This looks like a good one. Oh no, it's just a cat eye. 
blue cat eye. Well, it's got some sort of weird wispy thing going on with it too. Well, that's neat. Put it in the pocket. Oh, I can see there's a little bit of damage to it. Where'd that go? Right there. A little bit of damage right there. Well, I said to myself, one more decent find, folks. I'm getting out of here. And here's the next decent find. It's another. Oh, I thought it was a cat eye. It isn't. It's a green, like a brushed patch, and it's a smaller one. Like a peewee. That is a beautiful marble. Nice. Good find if it's the last one. Well, maybe I'll scratch around another minute or so here. <laughs> They're coming out. They're in here. That one might glow too. I can just the way I'm looking at it right there. That looks like it might glow. Could be a glower. I got a bunch of weird things there. I've just tossed up there, folks. All the real good finds are in my pocket. I don't know how many marbles I got. Five or six. And I'm about to get out of here. And here's one more. One for the road. Their cat eye. It's like a Indian red and blue and white. Six vein cat eye. So, after all that, I will definitely be coming back here. I hardly even dug anything at all here, folks. Just a small strip, as you can see right in through there maybe eight feet no wouldn't even have been eight I think I started about here so maybe about six feet and that's probably three feet across two and a half so just a just a rectangle and I'm just pulling it back behind me all right still got all all kinds here to dig we'll be back thumbs up comment down below thanks for watching folks okay folks little update on these hundred golf balls Jane and I found I put them up for sale on my Facebook page. Thought I'd give my uh, friends first dibs on them if anybody wanted them. Had the post up for an hour and somebody messaged me saying they'd give me 40 bucks for them. I was asking 50, but I said, sure, I'll take 40. So I'm going to make the uh, trade here uh, very shortly. I'll get you back up later on, let you know how that went. 40 bucks. All right, so heading out to meet the guy now. He's supposed to be driving a Burgundy GMC Sierra. So we'll see him when he drives in. We'll get you up in a sec. This might be him coming here. Yep, I think it is. All right, here comes the 40 bucks. 20 for me, 20 for Jane. Right on. Okay, folks. Well, I'm not uncovering much in here besides lots of uh, black flies. But I just, and, uh, I just uh, dug up this. Hills and Underwood London Dry Gin. I don't know, there's no uh, federal law warning on it. And then I also dug up right with it. Check it out. Another amber poison. Skull and crossbones. Forked up. Well, actually, it would be stopper top. The glass wand. Very cool, very cool. I'm glad I stopped here. And I also dug up this here.